Hi, today we will have a look inside this uh, photoelectric beam from the flea market made by J Electronic in France. Model number RXC01B, serial number 687. Universal power input, it seems. So there is a big Allen screw in the cover. So I guess it will be very nice quality inside, yes, big screw and it pops right off and here is what we have. We have terminal, terminals here for powering the thing and surely enough all the information you need is in the cover, the cut off power, 5 amperes. For this, uh, there must be a relay somewhere, I guess. IP65 and uh, uh, it seems we have a set of two uh, relays. And there is also some kind of a bit of schematic here. So wing how is uh, connected the LED status light. So what do we have inside? We have a plastic cover covering the electronics. I can see um, selector for 110 or 220 volts input. I can see a small hybrid circuit. So let's uh, undo this cover. There are three screws keeping the cover in place. So with this cover, in fact, when you open the device, you can just access the parts you are supposed to access and nothing else. Look at this. We have a nice little hybrid module. Bruce rectifier here. I can see four Allen screws down in the bottom here. And in fact, there is nothing else attaching the uh, item, the device. So maybe we are supposed to undo these four screws. And uh, this looks like a photodiode in a golden package soldered on the PCB. Some trim pot here, status LED here. Maybe we have also a status LED here. And, oh oh, look at this guys. Look at this. We have old Rifa capacitor. Let me zoom at the maximum level for you. So this thing is new in the box. It was never powered. We have a Rifa capacitor. A metal film capacitor in a clear plastic casing and it is 400 thousand picofarad and look at this this thing is sad it is cracked all the way around yes so I guess if I power it it will explode or something like this so this thing really are bad and they take years, very very bad. If you power something, they are 250 volts rated, so they may be used as uh, filter capacitors on uh, AC inputs on device. And it makes a hell of a bang on smoke if you power it in this condition. So it seems to be on the low voltage side, but anyway, I will replace it before I test the device. So how to take this apart? I will try to remove four screws down here in the holes. As you can see, I directly find the correct size of Allen key. It is how much I am used to taking things apart. 
and yes, it is coming right off. So we have this. Uh, in fact, the first screws are kept in place by the main transformer. We have two uh, beefy relays here, and we have the uh, sensor, uh, the electronics optical uh, LED and uh, light sensor things. So here this must be a LED diode, probably in a gold package. Small hybrid circuit here. There is a mirror here and a hole in the middle. And it is probably reflecting most of the light to this, which seems to be a photodiode. The case empty case is like this grounding uh, terminal here and uh, you can see it is in two compartments for it is uh, more or less shielded between the two compartments so interesting so I will replace this uh, very sad uh, capacitor ok the soldering iron is hot and first I did uh, select a uh, take a random uh, cable from my stock, men's cable, to power the thing. And look at this, it is not good. This thing is insanely fine. At least it seems it is really cop re real copper, but it is given for uh, 18 AWG. Brand is RVVZ. The plug is rated. 10 amperes, but I guess we have a problem here. It is some kind of a fake cable. So for this uh, purpose it will not be a big deal, but I will not trust it. And leave it attended. So it will probably go to the scrap after this. Really? It looks kind of, kind of flimsy, but... Not, I was not expecting something that bad. Ok, I need to unsolder this capacitor. So I guess it is the first time you can see me soldering on video. It is not easy because I should need more hands, but at least the solder sucker is working well when it works. Um, for now it is stuck. Okay. So try to sell the solder one more time. No. Okay. Uh, Second choice, solder wick. I am even in the frame. Okay. Okay, so I can now pull this very sad RIFA capacitor. I will clean the holes a little bit. Like so, maybe. No, the hole is still not clean. No, it is clean. Okay. I know my uh, soldering iron needs uh, some cleaning, and uh, maybe I can use this. Is a little bit better. Okay, so I did uh, select from my stock one uh, replacement uh, capacitor, but it is too tall, so I will need to put it flat on the PCB. I guess it is not a too big deal. I need to spread the legs like so. Here we are. 
Okay, the new capacitor is in place. Well, not new, but replacement capacitor. Well, you have nothing keeping this steady while well, solder, so it is not very easy. Here we are. Yes, it will be good enough. So, I can now reassemble everything and we can test this. Like so. Force cross air. Going to the transformer. Easy enough, really. This thing is well made. Okay. It should be a smoke test. Then, the smoke cover here. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I should select the correct voltage here. It may be a good idea. So according to the user manual, there is a whole procedure for setting up correctly the thing. But I guess we will just uh, check if it is alive. This is some kind of test uh, but button. There is a test point here also you can reach. And this screw is not working uh, okay so I will quickly connect it to the mains with this very bad piece of wire Run first, always run first. Then we have uh, nothing about the way you are supposed to hook the neutral on phase, and anyway, it has not any importance. So let's just insert the wires and It will be good enough for test purpose. Okay, so. I have here the reflector made by uh, Signal Products Division in uh, Niles, Illinois. So it is an imported piece. They did not make it themselves. Smoke test. It is uh, turning on here a green light. And it is just working, in fact. Making some noise. Let's see if you can hear. Ah, not anymore. So, 
So, pretty nice. There is a lead here which is becoming red when it sees the target and uh, green when there is no thing in the ta way of the target. So it may be useful or something actually. So the swing camera will pick up any kind of uh, LED light from it. No. It must be infrared, but uh, looks like the, see, see, the sensor in this camera doesn't pick up it up at all. Okay, I could play with this all day long. Okay, so not sure yet what I will do with this, but at least it is a fun little, uh, little uh, vintage little item. And except for the bad uh, capacitor, uh, really it is quite well made. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.